Hey guys, welcome back. Is this the part that will fix my creaking clutch pedal? Made in the Philippines but coming from Japan? Let's find out. This certainly looks the part. Just a quick recap, in the first video of this series, I did notice that while moving the clutch pedal, the spring was moving a lot. There was excessive play in this middle bush. So I tied an electric wire here that definitely did help reduce the creak. So I will replace this part hopefully and it will fix it. Here you can see the movement that I was talking about. The creaking occurs when I release the clutch pedal, when it's coming back up. So the plan of attack obviously is to replace this middle bushing. I will be replacing these side bushings also over here. And this bushing here, this one, this is where that metal pin goes into which connects your clutch master cylinder with the clutch pedal. And this stopper over here, if you saw my first video, this broke. I put this uh, clip, base of a clip here. So I will replace this stopper. Now this uh, pedal doesn't have cruise control. If you have cruise control and this is missing, it won't work. So this is an important stopper. These are all universal part numbers. I will expand later on in the video about this. All these parts cost between 2 to $3 only each, so not a big expense. To remove the spring, make sure the pedal is in the down position. There's less load on the spring. There's still a little bit of movement, but I believe this is less compared to the previous one. As I compared the bushing, the gap is less. So the spring still does move. I guess that is by design, but I'm hopeful this will solve the creaking issue now. I will grease this up more, uh, these bushings. And where the pin goes, I'll grease this area up too. Pedal is back in. Okay, moment of truth. Do you hear that? Nothing but silence. I finally did it. No more noise, not a nil, nothing. It's gone. Super happy with the result. Took a while, but we got there. Okay, the new one is on the left and it's not as bad as I thought it was. You can't really tell much of a difference, but it is worn over here. So this basically area which houses the spring, it has 
worn further towards this side. So maybe that's why there's excessive movement back and forth. As far as these side bushings go, they look pretty much the same. Maybe it's slightly worn inside, very slightly. I can't really tell much of a difference. If you're not sure these parts will fit on your clutch pedal, I'll just measure the dimensions for you. So the height of this middle bush is about 15 millimeters. The width is five millimeters and the depth here is around 13 millimeters. And for the side bush, the outer diameter here is 13 millimeters. The inner one, the inside diameter is 7.5 millimeters and the depth of this is nine millimeters. The spring, the diameter of this coil is 22 millimeters. And I measured the length of the spring from here to here. This is 45 millimeters. The complete length from here to here is 17 millimeters. Now this clutch pedal here, this is from a 2009 to 2014 Honda City. The same parts are used in the same years for the Jazz and Fit 2008 to 2014 models. Now these parts here, uh, these side bushings and the middle bushing, officially the part numbers don't exist for this generation Honda. You go to Honda, they look it up in the parts diagram and they will say that it doesn't exist. So if this breaks, for example, even the spring, the part number doesn't exist for this. So if it breaks or something happens, you have to re officially replace the whole pedal. So what I did, I checked the previous gen 2002 to 2008 um, Hondas uh, for this, the Jazz, Fit, and City, and I got these part numbers. I gave it a shot, and as you can see, it worked. Now, these are universal part numbers. The same part numbers for this middle bushing and the sides, I found it for the 7th and 8th gen Civic. It wasn't mentioned for the ninth, but I'm pretty sure it's the same parts. I'm sure the newer model 2014 plus for the Jazz, City and Fit will use the same parts. Pre-2002 models, however, doesn't have a middle bushing. So that's a completely different design. Another slightly alternative part number does exist for the middle bushing. This number is the same. The last six characters are different. That was mentioned for the 6th Gen Civic and 1st Gen CRV. So I believe it might be the same. Maybe it's just manufactured in a different region. The side bushings, however, is shared across even the 6th Gen and CRV models. So that's why I suspect the bushing should be the same, the alternative part number that is. The spring, even though, as I said, for this clutch pedal, it's not mentioned, the previous Gen part number should be the same. The same spring is also used in the Civics. I'm not sure why Honda stopped listing the part numbers for these. Now, as far as the stopper goes, this one, this is also a universal part number. The same stopper applies to the brake pedal also. If this is damaged or has broken off from your brake pedal, your brake lights will remain on. And this also, again, universal part number. If you have a squeak coming from the clutch master cylinder, and it can happen, you don't necessarily have to open everything up. Push the pedal down and you can spray rubber safe grease inside uh, the hole there. Many have recommended online to use white lithium grease, which is a petroleum based product. Many years back, I had a squeaking on a clutch master cylinder on an Accord Euro CL9. I used white lithium grease, which was recommended, but after some time, it swelled the rubber seals inside the cylinder and I had to change the whole thing. So I would try some silicone grease which is safe on rubber or get some rubber grease and try to push it inside. That would be the better option. If you have a right hand vehicle steering wheel on the right side, this was the only way I was able to get the pedal out, seat removed and lying on my back or side when needed. You need a lot of patience for this. For the steps on removal and installation of the clutch pedal, click over here. In the next video of the series, I will resolve the squeak. <laughs> Thanks for watching.